Now that I've told you how time frequency analysis works and how great it is, I want to raise a major issue that you need to watch out for in papers that use this approach. It's an extension of fundamental principle number one. Power at a frequency in a Fourier transform does not mean that an oscillation was present at that frequency. We can just restate it as, power at a frequency in a time frequency transform does not mean that an oscillation was present at that frequency. With standard Fourier analysis, you can reconstruct any waveform by summing together a bunch of sinusoids, but that doesn't mean that the brain signal actually consists of a set of sinusoids. Activity at 8 Hz in the Fourier transform doesn't mean that the brain was oscillating at 8 Hz. Similarly, in time frequency analysis, you can reconstruct any time domain waveform by summing together a bunch of wavelets, but that doesn't mean that the waveform actually consists of a set of wavelets. Here we've applied the transform after averaging. The time frequency representation just tells us the set of wavelets that we need to sum together to recreate the conventional average ERP waveform. Again, that doesn't mean that the ERP waveform actually consists of a set of oscillating wavelets. Any ERP waveform, even if it has no oscillations in it, has a time frequency equivalent and can be reconstructed in this way. So how can you tell if a genuine oscillation is present? Here's a rule of thumb. In most cases, a broad band of power means that it's not a true oscillation, but a narrow band of power means that it is a true oscillation. Here we see a broad band of power extending from 0 Hz up to around 15 Hz, so we probably don't have much oscillating activity in this average ERP waveform. There were probably oscillations in the single trial EEG epochs that were averaged together to create this waveform, but if the oscillations varied randomly in phase from trial to trial, they were eliminated by the averaging process. Here's an example of a true oscillation from an experiment looking at alpha band EEG activity. You can see a band of activity that lasts for a long period of time, but is limited to a relatively narrow range of frequencies from around 8 to 12 Hz. That's the typical pattern for a bona fide oscillation. Now, sometimes you'll see a plot like this. It doesn't show the low frequencies, so you can't tell whether it's a narrow band of oscillations or whether it extends down to zero. In this case, you just can't know whether there's an oscillation or not. 